What problem would you solve if someone said to you, create a device that turns a two-handed task into a one-handed task? This was the design challenge given to me recently by a professor while completing my engineering degree. And this is a custom 3D printed gadget that solves a pivotal problem related to this topic. In this video, you'll travel along with me as I go through the complete design process of brainstorming, designing, prototyping, and testing ultimately until I reach a successful product. With the goal being set to solve a problem related to two-hand mobility, my mind immediately jumped to the problem of needing two hands and a straight edge in order to draw a straight line. Therefore, in an effort to abandon the conventional ruler and needing two hands to draw a straight line, I designed this gadget to seamlessly draw crisp lines and solve the problem related to the challenge. So with the chosen project idea, step two is to define the build criteria, which included things like size, mass, materials, and manufacturing type. And being that I wanted to create some sort of pencil attachment rather than having some big bulky assembly to carry around, my criteria list had benchmarks including things like having a mass under 50 grams, a size of around three to five cubic centimeters, being able to be manufactured via 3D printing, and also a fairly simplistic assembly at under four to five parts. With these criteria established, it was then time to brainstorm possible design concepts that could be used for the product. I started by creating a long list of various components and design concepts that could potentially work for the product. During this stage, I wrote down various ideas which included possibly having a spring loading mechanism, a way for the pencil attachment to become more compact, whether I should include wheels, and also how I could incorporate a sliding ability to the design. Then with these conceptual ideas and designs, I went straight to CAD to design four initial designs based on the brainstormed ideas. After quickly choosing design four as the first prototype to build based on efficiency and apparent usefulness, I exported the files and began 3D printing. By using three nails as pins and three custom 3D printed parts, I was able to build my first prototype. This prototype had the features of a friction fit clamp, a hinging ability for storage, and one wheel to assist one axis motion. However, although the grip to the pencil and the hinge ability functioned perfectly, when it was put to the test, it failed for two reasons. First, being that the pencil only has two contact points with the paper, this creates the wrist roll problem that makes the design unstable. And second, being that there is low friction between the plastic wheel and the paper, the design doesn't limit the pencil from going up and down. Therefore, when I go and try to draw a straight line, this prototype basically does nothing to assist in that task. To me, this was rather interesting, as when I looked up similar designs online prior to starting the project, I found these two concept drawings. However, being that both of these only use one wheel with little contact area, based on my testing of prototype one and how much of a failure it was, I don't think there's any way that these concept drawings online would actually work. As a result of my first failed attempt, I decided to go back to the brainstorming stage where I could rethink and redesign. And while I was there, I came up with a few modifications that would adjust my first design. For prototype two, as you can see, it still uses the same clamping and hinging functions. However, it has three contact points now, which increases stability. Yet when I try and draw a straight line with this model, it once again doesn't limit the up and down motion in the Y axis. This is due to the same idea that when plastic is on paper, there isn't much friction to limit the motion. And so with this model acting more like a pencil stand rather than a straight line assistant, I decided to once again go back to the brainstorming stage to create a new design. For my third prototype, this is the first time I felt the spark of hope as I started to see results that yielded real potential. In this design, I once again used the hinging and clamping functions. However, instead of using two legs to stabilize the attachment, I used two circular wheels. And by coating the wheels with tacky rubber, these wheels both promoted straight line motion through rolling and limited the Y axis motion with the rubber induced friction. And so when I go to draw a straight line, the device actually assists the motion by limiting the free hand mobility. But there still exists one problem, which was the tendency for the line to be slightly curved due to the slight curve in your wrist while you try to draw a straight line. To correct this issue, my fourth and final prototype increased the width of the wheels, which both helped in increasing surface contact with the paper and promoted even straighter motion compared to the previous design. So when I go ahead and draw a line with this model, it smoothly glides the pencil only in the X direction and produces a result comparable to a ruler. But more than that, this project increases efficiency, compatibility with only needing one hand, and it acts as an on-the-go ruler that's always in hand's reach. 
If you're still watching, I just want to say thank you guys so much for all the different ways you support my channel and for watching to the end. I would love to know what you guys thought of this project down in the comments. And also if you have any future project ideas, feel free to leave them down there as well. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and tap the like button. And if you're looking forward to future videos of mine, it'll be great for you to subscribe by clicking right here. Lastly, if you want to see my latest video, you can go ahead and click right here. Once again, guys, just thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.